Hi, it's Adolfka here and in this presentation we are going to talk about how we can create a server using the Thief virus. Yes, as you can understand from the demonstration name, this lab is all about how you can um, use your virus to control your victim's computer. Let's log into our computers. And then, so what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just getting my computer infected with a virus. Yes, I know um, nobody is going to do what I'm doing, just going and clicking in a virus and get themselves infected. But please keep in mind, uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. If you watch one of my previous demos, you will see that uh, usually viruses comes with wrapped up versions what victims us like free stuff so let's demonstrate the remote access trojan and funny enough i'm getting right now myself infected with the thief virus is the virus it's called 210.exe just run the virus of course i don't have any antivirus installed on the computer and bala bing bala bong, I'm right now infected. So this was the server version. Now I'm navigating to my Windows 8 PC. We just log into the PC. And this is my Windows 8 PC. As you remember, I installed the server into a... I installed the remote Trojan server into my Windows Server 2008. Now I'm going to install my remote access trojan the client into my victim so just to correct myself this is the victim and if we see at the moment here is exactly where we're going to control our virus so what i'm going to do is i know the ip address but just to demonstrate it to you so you can do it right i'm switching to my windows 7008 pc I'm getting the IP address out of it, basically by running command prompt or cmd IP config. It's important to spell it right. And the IP address is 10.10.10.8. Switching back to my Windows 8. The IP that we are going to browse is 10. Let's open my numlock. 10, 10. It's really important to spell it uh, to add it right. Dot eight. From here, you can select any port that you would like to connect. Uh, this will be your FTP to connect to your server or to your victim. From here you have the server options. Uh, you, you got many different options where you can browse. You can get PC details. But first, let's connect to our victim. It's like a remote access client. And uh, as soon as the end user, the victim is infected, you know, they launch their program. This is going to launch at the background. I just made it visible to you so you can see what's happening actually at the background in computers I don't know if you noticed we have the connected to the transfer port so there is already a communication established if you don't believe me let's run a net stat command you will see that there is already some communication on the port that we have defined 6703 6703 as you saw here beautiful now uh, if you remember I had to switch back to my server 2008 to get the IP address but what was the computer name of my server 2008 to be honest I don't know uh, all what I have to do is click here get PC details look at this 
username administrator, computer name, registered organization, registered owner, work group, available memory, processor, everything is to see. Hard drive space, operating system information. You can go back, uh, get some networking information. You can start to spy, you can get screen captures. It's loading at the moment the screen capture. It's going to save the screen capture shortly. And the screen capture has been downloaded. Hopefully it's going to open shortly. This is exactly uh, what it says. As you can see, it's a, it is an image. So what I'm going to do is now, just to prove this is the case, I'm quickly going to switch to 2008. Now you will see that I'm in Windows Server 2008 and this is exactly the screen. Let's get some uh, message. CMD, not CMD, sorry. Notepad. Is anybody hacking me? We can just change the format font to huge one. All right, let's move back to my server. A close the screenshot. Here we go. Close the screenshot. Let's get another screenshot. Let's capture one more screenshot. To do so, we click Inspire again. Let's get the screen capture. It's connected into it. As you can see, it's downloading. And is anybody hacking me? As you can see, we're gaining access to the PC uh, via this little connection, via this little Trojan or virus. I can just go to the registry of the remote computer. I can just go change anything what I like. I can just go browse the computer. And the sad thing is, this is all happening while you're watching your free movie, while you're watching your games, uh, while you're playing your games, actually. I can browse the computer. I can do whatever I like straight from this little connection panel, which is called Thief version 2.1. But there is one thing to keep in mind. If you are not the master, Probably you are managed the master, so do not rely on someone else's hacking tools and call yourself hacker. This is my own recommendation to you. So all that I can recommend is uh, basically this. If you want more information about viruses, please go to my blog rdalusco.com and um, you will get many information about viruses as well. Thank you very much for watching this presentation.